three miles in to the Bishop Trail and back at the proper snow again. Micro spikes are on. back on trail but still on the Bishop Trail so what happened was we came off at the Bishop Trail a couple of days ago and headed into Bishop because we were running out of food we we're absolutely exhausted and also when we got into Bishop they had the earthquakes so we had um, I think there was two of them near us and we felt the second one and we decided to stay in Bishop just an extra day so we actually had two full zeros there and we just thought, A, it'll be a little bit safer rather than heading straight back in, into the mountains. And B, we were all just so shattered. So we, we had an extra day's recovery, which was really good. So we managed to get a resupply, clean all our clothes, do all the usual chores that you do in town. And yesterday, what we did is we got a bus from Bishop at eight o'clock in the morning, a shuttle bus, back up to the Bishop Trail, which is what we started on yesterday. So the Bishop Trail is just over 11 miles and what you have to do is actually go over Bishop Pass and we all started feeling a little bit ill, it was really strange and then we realised why because what happens is you're going from an elevation of about three or 4,000 straight up to 10,000 and then we climbed up to nearly I think 11 or 12,000 to actually get over the, the pass itself. So it was a full day yesterday, we did about 10 miles so the trail's about 11. So we're about one mile off the actual PCT this morning, which is what we're going to finish off now. And then we've got another pass today that we've got to go over. I think it's called the Muir Trail Pass, I'm not quite sure. But this one's not a very high or steep one. But what we've actually got is like seven miles of snow fields or something. So that means a lot of sun cups. So it's going to be another long day, but it is so nice to be back on trail. Last night we all had a campfire and sat around having our dinner and it, I don't know, I, I kind of like Bishop as a town, I'm not one for towns normally, but Bishop's really good because the food's amazing and everything's kind of there on one street and I got a few new purchases as well. So I got a new top which is this green one here, um, it's a thin kind of wrap top so I'm used to hiking in a shirt and it just felt uncomfortable all the time. It was really big on me and baggy and I just didn't really like it that much. So I've swapped out to a shirt, this, this kind of top, long sleeve top with a hood and it was so comfortable to hike in yesterday and yes it's turquoise. <laughs> and I also got a new pair of sunglasses because the ones I had, I think they were about nearly 10 years old and they weren't polarised so walking on the snow out here my eyes were killing me. So. If anyone's planning on coming out here and hiking in the snow in the Sierra, get polarised sunglasses because your eyes will really benefit from it. So I got those yesterday. And then I think, what else did I get? I got a new bag last week and that has been so much more comfortable than the other one. It's heavier and it's bigger, but it is so comfortable on my shoulders and my hips. So I really like that. And my new shoes, I never actually showed you my new shoes. So these are what I've got now, these are Brooks 13s, I'll show you them, because my other ones got wrecked, but they did last about, I think it was 750 miles or 800 miles, so I can't believe how well they last. But these are my new ones, let me show you. So these are the Brooks 13s, and they didn't actually have my size, because I've got such small feet. So I've actually got them a size bigger, but it's actually okay, because I've now also 
to turn the camera around again. I'm now actually wearing those Injinji toe socks as well. So I've got those and my normal socks. So it's kind of padding out the shoes a little bit. So I've just finished packing up and we're gonna head out now and get back to the PCT and start getting onto the snow cups. This was our campsite last night. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is where we had all our tents. There's beer hangover there. I was there and Keebler was there. And then we had a campfire here and our dinner. And this was our incredible view. It, we just couldn't believe it when we came across it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's about one, 1 1.5 miles from the PCT, just slightly up the Bishop Child. But oh, it was worth it, it was so nice. And this is the wildlife that we've got in camp this morning. Not what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah, no bears or mountain lions here. We've got a turkey. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She looks a little bit bored. Something quite amazing. Right then, guys, <laughs> are we ready for some hiking? <laughs> I'm ready. After watching, some are we not doing the dance this morning? <laughs> no, we saw the turkey dance. So good. Okay. I'm all pumped and ready to go. <laughs> Do you know what they are? I'm not really sure what they are. They kind of look a little bit like some kind of orchid or something. Orchid or iris?
last mile now heading up towards Muir Pass so it gets a little bit steep at the end but we're getting there only about a mile to go Just arrived at the top of Muir Pass and come across a shelter. There's a plaque here too. Let's have a look. Whew, Muir Hut. Hello! So I am now at the top of Muir Pass. It took us quite a while to go up here this morning. We've come from the Bishop Trail this morning and got onto the PCT and it's literally been uphill all day. So we finally made it up here. It's about half past three in the afternoon and we've decided to camp up here because otherwise the descent's just going to be really slushy going down. But it has been an eventful day today. I actually had a bit of a fall this morning. Oh, it really hurt. It, I wasn't even on the PCT. We'd only been going about a mile and I slipped on some ice and fell on my side on some rocks. So I've kind of bashed up my right elbow, all my right rib cage, my right hip, my right knee, my right hand. <laughs> so I've been in quite a lot of pain today. So I've been taking some tablets just to try and get through it. But breathing's been a bit of a problem because my rib cage is just so sore. But I've managed to get through it, um, so we've just been taking it steady and it has of course been all uphill. So it has been a tricky day, but the views today have been completely worth it. It has been incredible hiking up here. We've just got mountains all around us, we've just been walking on snow nearly all day. And the last little bit up to the Muir Pass, oh it was so, it's so beautiful. And then when you get here you get to this hut, which I will show you in a, another clip. Cause I'm sat down just recovering at the moment but it has been good you know mor morale obviously within our little tramway has been high as always and yeah I don't really have much else to say apart from the fact I'm just gonna sit here and recover <laughs> and hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better tomorrow um beer hang also had a bit of a fall today so he went through a huge sun cup and post hold and cut all the front of his legs as well and I think he twisted his knee even more and which was already in pain as well so we're a little bit beaten up so we're gonna melt some snow to make some water and have some dinner and then try and get an early night and hit the trail early in the morning mm -hmm. 